New hope for finding alien Earths or Earths or planets that are similar to Earth. Dust readings indicate terrestrial style planets could be more common than previously thought. Boston. Rocky planets like Earth could be found around most sun-like stars in our galaxy. New research suggests further raising hopes that scientists will someday find at least primitive life beyond our solar system, perhaps. The finding is based on an analysis of dust around 309 stars. That's 309 stars with masses comparable to our sun. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has detected heat that radiated from the dust, not unlike the smoke you'll see rising from chimneys around here in the Boston area on a cold day, said researcher Michael Meyer of the University of Arizona. Meyer and his colleagues have found warm dust between minus 280 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 173 to 27 degrees Celsius, orbiting at an estimated distance from their stars in the same range that Earth and Jupiter are found in our own solar system. This has allowed them to infer the presence of colliding larger rocky bodies and to estimate, and to estimate that at least 20% and up to as many as 60% of the sun-like stars in our galaxy's disk could perhaps theoretically give rise to rocky planets similar or likened unto Earth. From those observations of dust we infer the presence of colliding larger rocky bodies not unlike asteroids and other things in our solar system that we know bang together and generate dust. Meyer told reporters at the annual meeting of the American Association for the advancement of science. By tracing that dust, we trace these dynamical processes that we think lead or led to the formation of terrestrial planets in our solar system. The best guess or estimate scientists have for the time scale of the formation of the planet Earth as a result of collisions is when our Sun was between 10 million to 50 million years old. It is now approximately 4.6 billion years old. Meyer has found the warm dust trails and stars between 3 million and 300 million years old. The results are to be detailed in the February 1st issue of Astrophysical Journal Letters. There is still no consensus on planet definition. More than 250 planets beyond our solar system have been detected since the late 1990s and it has become more and more unclear just exactly what a planet is. The International Astronomical Union arrived at a new formal definition a couple years ago but many scientists still disagree. In fact, Meyer said he has become less and less interested in a precise definition of planethood. He is interested in how common different masses of objects are and what their sizes are from the inner solar system to the outer solar system. That can tell us a lot about how our solar system has evolved. The real question is how common are planetary systems like our own around sun-like stars in our galaxy. I believe that Earth is very, very important. It may be the only one in the whole galaxy that actually harbors intelligent life. Yes, Earth is very, very, very important. We must have a home world to always come back to or to live on. I believe they are very, very far and, in, and few in between. Yes, Earth is a very important planet. The diversity of exoplanets now found is broad in terms of size and proximity to their parent suns. 
said astronomer Deborah Fisher of San Francisco State University. And the planets resemble the creativity and architecture that you might get from a school child if you give the kid clay and ask him or her to model planets in a solar system, she said. Scientists have found that the materials necessary for carbon-based life in the universe, including water, are more common than previously thought. The trick is to find planets in the right location, Fisher said. Scientists now find most Earth-like planet yet. Models predict planets should be either rocky or theoretically covered with oceans. An Earth-like planet spotted outside our solar system is the first found that could theoretically support liquid water and harbor some kind of primitive life, scientists have announced. Liquid water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. The newfound planet is located at the Goldilocks distance, not too close and not too far from the star to keep water on its surface from freezing or vaporizing away. Nonetheless, I still believe that Earth-like planets are very, very rare. And while astronomers are not yet able to look for signs of biology on the planet, the discovery is a milestone in planet detection in the search for extraterrestrial life. The goal is to find life on a planet like the Earth around a star like the Sun. This is a step in that direction. The new planet is about 50% bigger than Earth and about five times more massive. The new super Earth is called Gillespie 581C after its star, Gillespie 581, a small red dwarf star located 20.5 light years away that is about one-third as massive as the Sun. Gillespie 581c is the smallest extrasolar planet or exoplanet discovered to date. It is located about 15 times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. One year on the planet is equal to 13 Earth days. Because red dwarfs also known as M dwarfs, are about 50 times dimmer than the sun and much cooler. Their planets can orbit much closer to them while still remaining within their habitable zones, the spherical region around a star within which a planet's temperature can sustain liquid water on its surface. Two other planets are known to inhabit the red dwarf system. One is a 15 Earth mass hot Jupiter gas planet discovered by the same team two years ago, which orbits even closer to its star than does Gillespie or Gillespie 581c. Another is an 8 Earth mass planet discovered at the same time as Gillespie 581c, but which lies outside the star's theoretical habitable zone. We have estimated that the mean temperature of this super-Earth lies between 0 and 40 degrees Celsius, 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and thus if there was any water, it would be liquid. The scientists have discovered the new world using the HARP, H-A-R-P, instrument on the European Southern Observatory 3. 0.6 meter telescope in Chile. They employed the so-called radial velocity or wobble technique in which the size and mass of a planet are determined based on small perturbations it induces in its parent star orbit via or via gravity. Yes, they're discovering more and more all the time. I still say that Earth is very, very very important and is quite rare. 
in the whole scheme of things.